Hi everyone. Today we will learn the first WebGL program, the Hello Triangle. Like uh, Hello World in C programming, the WebGL or OpenGL, we start with Hello Triangle program. Okay, so we will learn. Yes, Hello Triangle program is very simple JavaScript code. So we will learn the WebGL uh, uh, advanced the features with changing this hello triangle code okay okay first thing you should copy your example source code from uh Azure university git server so from here so here then you can see you can see uh, three source code hello dot js pi and hello png pi and index dot html pi hello png pi is the result of uh, this you need to download hello.js and hello.html file for your working directory okay let's dive into hello triangle program uh, i copied uh, the source code of hello triangle code in git server into my working directory first we will look into the index.html file uh, okay i will open it with beam editor so the teaching html syntax syntax is out of scope of my course so i will explain uh, html syntax but I need something to, to understand our code. For example, in uh, JavaScript code and some canvas. Okay, the HTML is start of HTML, the, the, and then head. The there is a, some kind of title. Title is displayed on the the title bar of web browser, and then there is a, some kind of metadata to, to define the code text code. The text code is Unicode, okay. And then line seven is very important. Text JavaScript. We will include the hello.js file in working directory to execute execute WebGL, okay. So there's end of script and end of head. But you say that on road, they has main function should be in, should be executed. The main function is in hello.js file, okay? So, and then they defined uh, some canvas. Canvas is drawing area. It's with these 800 pixel, it's unit is pixel, and height is 600 pixel. Okay, there is no, there is border, there is no border, okay? And canvas ID is a hello API canvas. Hello API canvas. So, to draw something on web with WebGL, we need canvas. Okay, so we can draw something 2D vector graphics with with canvas 2D a, 2D feature of HTML, or we can draw 3D 3D drawings with WebGL. Okay. Okay, then let's go to JavaScript file. I will open with Beam, Beam Editor. Okay. Okay. First, there is some kind of a definition of variable here, and and there is a function for testing GL error. So it is it is function for checking there is a GL errors so the, we will use this GL test function for debugging okay and there is another function is initialize GL with canvas parameter is canvas okay let's go to next function is initialize buffer okay and there is a kind of a vertex data so bottom left, bottom right, to top middle. Okay, and some vertex purpose chill that create something, something, something. Okay. 
There's another thing is the initialize a shader. Okay. Shader, I said that the shader is program. Okay. There is a program. The source code is in initialize, initialize shader function. Okay. And then, and then there is render scene. Okay. There is uh, some functions and then there is some kind of definition of matrix. They define mat transform matrix with 4x4 matrix with one dimensional array and then some functions and then they have here draw arrays. Okay, draw function is one draw function. Okay, and return two. Main. Okay, main function is executed by HTML. Okay, let's go to HTML file. HTML said that on loading of body, the main function should be executed. So, first entry of uh, JavaScript execution is main function. Okay, so they said that canvas is document. Okay, canvas they use can canvas get element by ID. They made canvas and then. With that canvas, they initialize it, initialize GL and initialize buffer and initialize shader. And then, and then there is a kind of a, some rendering loop. Okay, there is a, some rendering loop. It looks, looks very complex shape, complex, but very simple. Okay, I, I will explain this code briefly. This code is very, it looks very strange, but it is not a complex one. Okay. Okay. The, the request to any, any frame is kind of a def, uh, assignment for function. So request to any frame is point of a point. I think it, it is, it is, it, it's type is function. Okay. And then that function is written the window request animation frame. It is kind of a system called that request animation frame. So it it said that some to web browser request I finished the drawing so we you should update the canvas frame. So why there are so many this kind of things. It is because the some some browser does not implement it with standard. It is not fixed yet. So some browser can can animate frame with this function or some WebKit based WebKit based uh, browser that we need this function. So sometimes in Mo in case of Mozilla the, we need this function. If if the browser cannot support the request animation frame, nor the WebKit request or Mozilla request, then that that is just only only the set timeout. Okay, set timeout means that just uh, the, the the waiting time. So if the browser support this thing, then this next function will not called. Okay, so. Normally, the Chrome browser and ed Edge browser sup supporting request animation frame that it, the window that request animation frame is will be executed with the callback function. So it is just assignment, not execution. Then execution is like that. The f we have a function render loop. Render loop is defined with with render scene. Render scene execute. It is it, the render loop is executed with render scene. Render scene was in here. Okay, render scene was in here. I mean upper part of uh, this source code. So render scene, and then the request any frame. Okay, request any frame. So request any frame will will executed with render loop render loop is parameter 
It means that request any frame is has one parameter. So it's a callback function. So so it means it means that okay we can the we can execute when we going into render loop then render scene and then request any frame with render loop so the the request animation frame is executed and then render loop is call again call again and call again it means that is infinity loop so this part is displaying 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 so so it is almost the same as the render scene infinitely with with request any frame okay then let's see the result okay i double clicked double clicked the index.html file then okay the triangle is appears in web browser okay triangle is appears in your web browser congratulations it is and okay let's look at the source code with the view of OpenJS 2.0 pipeline okay of the js the main function is initialize gl initialize buffer initialize shader and and render loop is infinity loop that execute render scene so i will change it into just one time render scene okay then i'll comment out other part okay It means that it draw only one time, one time render scene execution. Okay, so it is so infinite loop, but I just I just changed it into one time drawing. Okay, let's see the result. Okay, then result will be like this. Yes, it is same result with with the one time drawing okay let's see the the source code javascript source code with with comparing with a, a webgl 1.0 pipeline okay the first thing was initialize gl with canvas canvas was getting from html code hello api canvas Okay, let's go back to HTML file. Then, in HTML, there is some kind of definition. Canvas, it, its ID is Hello API Canvas. Oh yeah, that so 800 by 600 pixel canvas is Hello API Canvas. So with using this ID, then the, we get element by ID. Then, then Canvas is a, the variable name canvas the, the the element is assigned to here so and then next step is initialize gl with canvas okay let's go to initialize gl initialize gl okay initialize gl is try try is try is some kind of error processing try to catch uh, the error of open gl so we try canvas okay okay try canvas get context i said that context is is kind of a setting or setting or some kind of a status value collection of status variable so with get context with webgl parameters it means that i will i will use webgl to this canvas 
with get context function method. So, so the gl variable gl in variable gl the the web gl context will be assigned to gl. Where is gl? gl assigned in gl is assigned in 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 here. Okay. Why? Why? Why variable gl is so assigned in here? Because we want to use this variable for as global variable. So I want to use it in like this gl dot get error. So if if v this function is called with before the the canvas get context, then it make it will make error because the gl does not assign it yet. So the but the, this function will be executed in first time in first time then the the gl will in gl variable the canvas canvas get context the result will be assigned to in here so we can use gl function okay so gl is web gl context now why there is another or command it is in case of the web gl the browser is not implemented yet so we can use experimental web gl or experimental web gl okay mm, in case of a chrome browser or internet explorer or something so we can use the, we can use web gl so this function will be called and then we set gl viewport with 0 comma 0 and canvas that width and height width and height is is okay we can see it in 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 the html in html file it said that width and height is 600 by 800 by 600 so with canvas that width is 800 and canvas that height is 600 okay so so we can get a viewport don't worry about that we will learn gl.viewport command later okay so it is it defined the drawing area okay drawing area of in in canvas okay then okay let, let's finish the initialize gl function it means that if there is uh, some error, it means that get context failed, then there is uh, some kind of error message. It will be disappeared and then return with a false, as it will return with a true. Okay. So the, let's go to the GL viewport function. So we can change it into, it into for example, okay, sorry, okay, copy it. In the slash 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 is comment of uh, of JavaScript. Then I can use two hundred by two hundred. Then let's see the changes. Okay. Okay. Chrome browser. I will close it. You don't have to double click the file again. So because we already changed it, just the Control R button is can be used for reloading it. Okay, the result is small one. So it means that we set the canvas canvas viewport with a small area. Then, then the triangle size is reduced to too small. It means that the the origin of this coordinate system is in here. So zero comma zero is in here. Two hundred two hundred is in here. Okay, so. I will change it to original. Okay, I ch we tested it with that, and then next step was initialize buffer, initialize buffer function. Okay, so variable vertex data, vertex data array has minus zero point four. Okay. It looks like uh, some kind of a coordinate of a triangle. Okay. It is. 
we, if we change the coordinate, then we can change the shape of triangle. For example, if we change it into zero point, okay, I will change it into nine. Sorry, nine. Save it. Okay, then what's the result? Okay. Oh, okay. Zero point nine is in here. The x coordinate is zero point nine. It means that, yeah, in in coordinate system of a screen, I will show you. Coordinate of screen zero comma zero. In in case of viewport zero comma zero was in here, but in vertex data in vertex data zero point nine is in here. So it means that. The origin of coordinate in vertex in vertex coordinate zero comma zero is in here, so it is center of I will reduce it. Center of canvas is origin zero comma zero. So coordinate zero minus zero point nine is in here, so it means that here is minus one point zero. Here is 1.0. Here is minus 1.0 y coordinate. Here is 1.0 y coordinate. Okay. So you can change the shape of that triangle with changing this vertex data. Okay. Okay. This vertex data is st stored in where? So think about it. This 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 on uh, assignment, this statement means that this code is in in CPU execution. So this data is stored in CPU memory. Okay, in CPU memory. I show you the this the the triangle coordinate is in here. Okay. Okay. So, okay. Let's go back to GL initialize. If we initialize, initialize with, with the get context, then we can get context, WebGL context it with the, this thing. So we can now with, with, with get context with the WebGL, then we can use this part. So we can get the resource of GPU or we can get some display or that kind of thing is possible. And then next step was the initialize a buffer. So initialize buffer said that, okay, the, there is some kind of definition variable vertex data is, that data is stored in here, CPU part. Okay, then next step is, okay, GL, GL create buffer. GL buffer, vertex buffer equals GL create buffer. Create the buffer with GL context. It is, it is located in here. So GL, GL dot create buffer create, create buffer in here, here. Okay. Then, and then, And then, GL bind buffer. It means that I will use this buffer with for array buffer. Okay, array buffer. There is two kind of a buffer in OpenGL 2.0. One is array buffer. Second thing is the ele element buffer. Okay, so, or, so I will explain later in element buffer. Okay. So I will use this buffer for array buffer. It means that I said, okay, this is, this buffer is now array buffer. Uh, no, no, this buffer is array buffer. Okay, I announced it and let GPU know it. Okay, and then I okay GL buffer data in here. Okay, GL buffer data. GL buffer data, okay? GL buffer data, 
then with parameter of vertex data, vertex data is in here. So, so it means that I will send this vertex this vertex data to here to here okay so let's see the parameter okay it is array buffer and new create a new plot 32 array it means that it means that the vertex data is JavaScript data, but plot32 array is changing into 32-bit plotting point, point array data. Then it, it is converted to plot32 array and then, then send it into GPU. And this is kind of a hinting information, hinting information. Oh, this data will be static draw. Static means it is not dynamic, so we will not change this variable anymore. It means we will not change this variable anymore. So, the, 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 so it is very useful for to it, it is uh, the, this array data is transported to GPU, and then it is uh, announced as a static static. So GPU know that. Oh, it is static, so we don't have to change it. The GPU will not change this variable, so okay, I will keep it more efficient way. So GPU can manage it more efficiently. Okay. Okay, then let's go to initialize shader. Okay. In initialize shader, so there is fragment shader source code. Okay, source code is stored as string, so it looks like a C language. Fragment shader C language code, source code said that it is main function. GL fragment color is back to 1.66 1, 1 and 1 1.0. Okay, fragment shader said that it is, it said that it is just four color element. Vertex shader code is vertex shader code is okay. GL position is transform matrix multiply my vertex. It looks like very similar to similar to C language. It is it has main function, and then there is a uniform parameters that. Transformation matrix. There is an attribute my vertex. Okay, so and then it is to the parameter shader and vertex shader also create a shader, shader source code define and then compile it and then and then it is set to as a as a some kind of a get. Uh, shade the parameters and send it into parameters. Okay. Okay. So vertex shader, shader source, compile shader. If compile is successful, then it it is set to get shader parameters, GL shader in the it GL complete status. Then it send it to GPU. Means that, means that initialize shade doing. And then in 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 together together with vertex shader and fragment shader and create program attach attach shader with fragment shader code and vertex shader code and bind it into parameters and then link program. It is same as C compile process. Okay, compile and linking. And then the final step is GL use program. Okay. Then GPU receive that receive that the program. It means that in pipeline in pipeline we define as a some kind of as a string. Some we define main function something, and then 
it is compiled and some linked and something and then we package it into some kind of program that send it into vertex shader and fragment shader let's go to somewhere else okay so okay the vertex shader and fragment shader has some kind of input so attribute there is a, some kind of definition of what attribute uniform there was some kind of a uniform parameter is, is matrix so my my transformation matrix or something so attribute was my vertex or something and that it sent it into there is no output only only j position output was in vertex shader okay and in fragment shader in J fragment color definition is only in fragment shader. Let let's go back to source code of shader. Okay, in vertex shader, there is a, some kind of a, some matrix and my vertex. My vertex was attribute, attribute. It means that vertex attribute, and then I multiply the with the uniform value the transformation matrix, then set into GL position, okay. GL position in here. Uniform matrix, and then my vertex is multiplied. And then it means that it is kind of a vector. And then it is kind of a 4 by 4 matrix. So, matrix and vector multiplication, and its result will be, of course, vector. Then vector is saved into GL position. And then it goes to fragment shader, fragment shader. And then fragment shader, shader said that, okay, there is fragment color is one one zero point six six one point zero. It means that it is red, green, blue, and alpha value. Alpha value means the opacity of color. So opacity means opposite of transparency 1.0 is 100 percent opaque object so 0, 0.0 is 100 percent transparent okay so they set the color okay i will change it into two two, two. no i will change it into zero then save okay that then load it oh yeah it changed color good 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 i like it i like it i like it okay so we can control the color of pixel by frag color fragment color output variable okay that is initialized shader and then let's let, let's go to render scene. Okay, in render scene, start with GL clear color. Okay, clear color with 0 0.6, 0 0.8. Okay, RGBA. So it is some background color of that. So this color, yeah, it looks like a sky blue color. Then it is 0 0.6, 0 0.8, 1.0 0 color. And then Variable matrix location is GL get uniform location. Get uniform location is the transformation matrix. It is in it is in vertex shader. Vertex shader said that transformation matrix. It is stored in string. They wish we if we want to change the value of transformation matrix, we want we need to get the position of in in vertex shader code so we need to get the position of transformation matrix then save location with own matrix location then there is a transformation matrix 4 by 4 matrix it looks like 4 by 4 matrix it it is some one dimensional matrix and then send it into gl uniform matrix 4v it means that we send this matrix Originally, this matrix is stored in CPU. Then, then in CPU, there was in 4x4 matrix. It sent it into 
into into here location uniform some kind of matrix position we send it okay so code said that so we will send this information to to uniform data so I will detail I will explain uh, detail of this function in later okay don't worry about that and then and then GL enable vertex array so okay let's go back to here so the vertex buffer already stood that triangle vertex then I said I said I will use vertex attribute zero so it is some kind of announcement I will use this attribute force attribute that attribute was XYZ coordinate of triangle then it said that okay there is three values its value is protein point so it to be the protein point then there is some kind of parameters then I will set the pointer then it it arrange the, the the address the next vertex will be three located in three multiply four byte there will be some kind of a next vertex will be located in after 12 byte later okay so we are pointing that we are giving this information to GPU then GL draw GL draw means we will see that GL draw with GL triangles triangles it means that it means that in primitive assembly you are, you must do primitive assembly with parameter of GL triangles okay triangles means that all vertex is all vertex is triangle okay then it is assembled with a triangle so so then okay all vertex is triangles i mean we we only have three we, we have only three vertex but if we have six vertex for example one two three four five six then when you are the primitive assembly with the gl triangle options then one two three triangle is appears and four five six triangle appears okay then 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 the two triangle will be created by primitive assembly okay and then rasterization process it will be it is changed into bitmap then frame to shade that set it said that all all vertex okay let's go to code fragment to shade said that all vertex is yes this color so so the this this color will be filled filled with each vertex each vertex has same color and then it is interpolated so whole pixels in triangle have a same color then it is displayed then it will be displayed okay so we we look into the, the, the JavaScript code we see that the first JavaScript code is triangle drawing okay please try to change it please try to change it okay I will give you some kind of a assignment I will check it with 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 the I'll check it the attendance by these things you make you copy my project in git server and then you change it into to various kind of thing for example you can change the, the 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 numbers you can change the colors then you can change the html for different name for example i will change it into title i will why i want to change title api and then my name Hanyang Lee yeah that kind of thing is possible okay and save it 
and save it. And then I can change the, the result. So please try to change it. So yeah, its title is changed. Okay, so please change it and try to try to play with this code. I finished my lecture. Okay. See you in next lecture.